What's up guys and gals, welcome to the first episode, in Salt, our new LP, which I'm in like this weird space right now, where in two weeks there's going to be a bunch of games coming out that I'm going to cover like all of them because I already have the review keys, I just can't put anything up until the embargo date, but I needed an extra series to throw into the equation and so I figured Salt would be a good choice. If you don't know what Salt is, I streamed it a few weeks ago and people, at first, did not believe me when I said that this game was fun, but by the end of the stream I had convinced all of them, and that's largely because this game gives a first impression as though it was made like in Roblox or something like that. Like, it's a lot like the first time you play Unturned. You're like, this game is kind of ugly and I don't see how it would be fun. But then as you play it for a couple hours, it starts to grow on you and you find yourself just sort of sailing around in circles in the middle of the Caribbean, doing whatever you want. And so if you, if you really want a synopsis of the game Salt, what it is, is it's just a crafting sandbox game where you're in a Caribbean island chain and you just sail around looking for new resources, looking for new magical stuff, and just having adventures. There's pirates, there's monsters, there's ship battles. Well, I don't know if the ship battles are in the game just yet, but there will be a someday, I assume, because there's pirate ships already. So, you know, one thing follows the other. If there's going to be pirates, obviously they're going to shoot at each other. And so I want you all to join me as I play Salt for a couple days. I mean, I figure I'll probably get a good... 10, 20 episodes out of this. And so since the long dark is gone, I don't have a whole lot of survival stuff going on right now. Next week, we've got This War of Mine coming out in completion. We've got Dead State coming out in December in completion. There's going to be a lot of stuff to do, but I needed a fill-in series, and I think this one's going to do it for me. So let's go to New Game! And we have to name our explorer, and so I think it's time for an old friend to come back. And that old friend is Very Very Larry. For those of you that don't know, Very Very Larry is a guy who was around in the 70s. He has a lot of chest hair. He has the tendency to wear like these Tommy Bahama shirts with the gold chain in the front. He probably has a very very large handlebar mustache. We'll never see him during the course of this game because you can't go into third person. But Very Very Larry is the sort of guy that you might expect to have, you know, like white powder around his nose while he dances wildly in the middle of the club. Very Very Larry is that guy. He probably drives like, I don't know, like a fuchsia Miata or something. Very, very Hotline Miami-esque individual. And so he's going to be coming along with us. With regards to the world seed that I want to play on, I, I don't really have a preference, but I think I'll probably go with the custom seed of 12. Yes, that seems about right. The custom seed of 12. Let us be on our way. And so if you wish to play along with me, feel free to purchase the game. I'll put all the information down below, and you can check out the seed of 12 along with me and maybe give me some tips along the way. And so here we are, the Seed of Twelve. We are on our starting island. It looks like it's either morning or nighttime, coming very, very shortly, and I'm not sure which. It gets pretty dark in this game, and so we should probably have at it and figure out what it is that we should be doing right about now. I'm not a master at this game. I've got some time invested, but not a huge amount. A couple hours just to learn the basics and figure out what the game is about. On top of that, I streamed it for a little while, and so I have a good idea what I should be doing on this first island. And the first task at hand is we need to find a treasure chest. Somewhere on this island, there is a treasure chest laying around, and that treasure chest will have the items we need in order to make our first boat. And so, boating plays a large portion in this game. You're going to be spending a lot of time floating on the open seas. So, as always, you'll probably want to get some kind of motion sickness thing going on. If you're anything like me, where it's just like, oh god, I'm not going to make it, erp. You'll probably just prep for that, prep for that. We're going to spend a lot of time with our toes wet and out in the ocean, because obviously the first boat that we build is probably not going to be exactly seaworthy, but it's going to be enough to get us around. Let's pick up some logs. There we go. We're just going to sort of fish around the island for right now. Let's weave through this bamboo right here, because if you walk through bamboo, sometimes you get bamboo stalks. I don't really know how it works, but sometimes when I walk through bamboo, it works out for me. You get bamboo bamboo shoots. A bamboo shoot sounds like a ghost that's like armed with grenades and a firearm, like a bamboo shoot. You get what I mean? Like bamboo, and then it shoots you, and then you're just like, ow, oh, that sucks so much. Bamboo shot. All right, so let's pick up some logs, because every survival game needs a huge amount of wood. If you don't have wood in your survival game, I, I, I bet you're not smiling like Bob, that's for sure. You're definitely not smiling. You've got a lovely little beach over here. I mean, who would ever want to leave this island? This island, I'm pretty stoked about it. This island is gorgeous. I, I would live here in eternity and just never go anywhere else as long as I was sure there was enough stuff to forage around and live off of. Mmm, plant fiber. We need to keep our plants. We need to keep them nice and regular. Nobody likes a grumpy plant that's irregular. Let's... God, I don't even know. On the beginning island, every time you play this game, there's a chest around somewhere. And you've got to find it. And wait, what? Did I see a log up here? Hmm? 
he said inquisitively as he walked throughout the hills and dales looking for logs as though he was in calculus class. All right, or pre-calculus. I don't remember. I think I did more logs in pre-calculus than I did in calculus. Either way. It, oh, there's a treasure. Woohoo! A treasure chest and a log cozying up beside one another. All right. And so let's go ahead and see if we can find... Ah, so we've got plant fibers. Got a little bit of coal. Got four wood logs. We've got a gold coin. And we've got a cloth... Swatch and so obviously we need to get to crafting because you can't spell raft without craft and you can't spell craft without raft It goes both ways. We could press H to go to our help list if I get confused during the course of the game I'll probably spend a lot of time thumbing through this right here However at the moment, I think we've got other stuff to do now There are bars the bottom left hand bar is like how full you are the dark green one I think is how much like you filled up your tummy with goodie bits the green one is your sprint ability and your stamina, and the fighting in this game is sort of like a more rudimentary mountain blade. Not really. Like, I wouldn't give it that much credit, I guess. Basically, I, I would say it's everything you expected from combat in Skyrim. Like, one button makes you attack, one button makes you block, and that's pretty much it. You fight each other, you kill things, and you get loot. Is there anything over here that I want? We should definitely pan and scan around the item- or, I'm sorry, we should pan and scan around the island first to see if there's anything good that we want. Because sometimes there are lovely little goodies laying around that can be very, very useful in your later adventures, like this log right here. Some of the crafts that you're going to do later on in the game are enormous, and they take a huge amount of stuff. I don't know if this game has multiplayer right now. I don't think that it does. I don't recall. I don't know. The developer stopped in when I was chatting about the game in my stream and answered a whole bunch of my questions. It was very, very cool because I got a first-hand inside look into the development of the game and, like, what's going to be coming out. I got to pitch some ideas straight to the developer because he was sitting right there in the stream. It was really, really awesome. And I don't... I don't know. There's so many, like, green things on this island that it's difficult for me to tell what's around. And so I know that while this game may not look like much, just stick with me for this first episode. Stick with me, and I, I can virtually guarantee you by the end of three or four episodes, you will see that this game has a lot of heart. It's not much on the eyes, but it's definitely, it tugs at the heartstrings. It's got a lot of, it's just a fun game to play. I enjoy being in the world in Salt, which is more than I can say for a lot of crafting games where it's like, all right, so let's get to chopping down some trees. Let's do all of those things we've done a thousand times before. Like the setting in this game is very, very different. And I like that about it. I think that's really, really awesome. Is there, I don't know. We've walked this way already, but I kind of want to know if there's anything laying around over here. I mean, sometimes there's, like, tools and weapons and things laying around on your first island. And if you get lucky and you find those things, it can be a really, really good thing for you. However, if we don't find them, we can make some other objects that will be... They'll work in a pinch. They'll work in a pinch, although they will leave a welt. Let's see here. Nothing up and over this hill. We're out of stamina. Apparently, my character is not much for the uphill climbing. It's okay. Neither am I. I do a lot of flatland running, which I hear is very, very bad for you, but I do it anyways because, you know what? Challenges are for the strong and the bold. I prefer to keep myself emaciated and weak. So, there's a weak boulder right there, speaking of weak things. We haven't found anything of use thus far. And so I think what we'll do right now is let's get to crafting. So if we go to the crafting menu, as I recall, it's been a little bit since I played this last, but if you right-click something, it'll put it into your crafting slot over here, and then you can pan through, and it'll tell you all the available items that you can create. We can create a Billy Club right now, or a Johnny Club, or a Timmy Club, or whatever club you want to call it. Honestly, I just fill in my name. I would call it a Splatty Club because it makes me happier. And so if, you know, if your name's John, call it a Johnny Club. If your name's Bill, obviously go with Billy Club. But you know what? Make sure that you customize your club. Make it your own. Make it something that you're happy to be around. And if we click that, we can equip it. Oh, yes. And so now you can see that we can bludgeon. We can block. And then we can dodge once we have this in. I think you dodge by pressing sideways or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's something like that. You press sideways and press the space bar. And so now we should be able to bash this boulder and maybe extract a couple rocks from it because obviously we need all of the equipment that we can get. If you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you will see that it's saying our damage number. It is limited largely to ones, twos, but we got a six right there. We got a crit, so it's not so bad. I don't know all the crafting recipes just yet. I'm going to play the first couple episodes without looking them up. And then at that point, I'll probably start looking things up, and we'll start coming up with an itinerary or a plan for the things that we want to craft as we play the game. But for right now, let's mine some rocks real fast. Aw, uh, yeah. And so there it is, just beating rocks because we're violent, we're angry, we're stuck on an island, we're getting ourselves motivated right now. And the rocks are the only thing around that we can destroy. So we got a flint stone, we got a coal, and we got a stone block. All right, don't know what those are going to be useful for, but I assume they're going to have some kind of function later on. Am I correct in assuming that I saw a rock around down here somewhere? I thought I did. I don't know. Instead of rocking around the clock, 
We're rocking around the island. It's a much, much lesser known 1950s rock and roll classic. We're going to rock around the island tonight. You can see that it's the the syllables are off. And so I think that people abandoned it because it really, it didn't flow the same way that rock around the clock did. Then again, there's a joke in here somewhere about removing L's or something, but I think I'm just going to hold tight. I'm going to hold fast and I'm going to avoid it. Let's give the island one more look through, just for anything else that might be useful, because I do so greatly loathe to leave a location with useful things behind. Can I destroy the chest, by the way? No, I can't. That's a solidly built chest right there. You can't beat it open at all. It'll keep itself shut. No matter how you advance on that chest, it just will not open for you. Ooh, another log. See, that's why I take another sweep. That's why I take another sweep, just to make sure. Let's maybe take a high ground over here or something? I don't know. I take the high ground frequently, but that's a different subject to talk about. We've got the high ground. I don't see anything else laying around. Hey, a log! I do see something laying around. We are going to build our raft by the end of this, and I'm going to have to reteach myself how to sail because I don't really remember that well, but we'll figure it out along the way. This game is sprinkled with lots of like rare loot and just random things that you can loot along the way. Very, very fun game as you play it. Like, you start out, and you really do feel like there's nothing here to do. And then as you play it longer and longer, and you start looking up, like, the feature list because you've run out of things to do, you start to realize that there actually is, like, stuff out there. you just got to go find it. you just got to go find it. you got to be diligent in searching islands for the things. And there's lots of fun adventuring here. Was that a log right there? I thought I saw a log laying over here somewhere, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And then this is back over to the other side where we've already been. Okay, and so that leads me to the next part of the episode where we will build our first raft. Now, when we go to other islands, there are going to be, like, enemies. There are going to be bosses. There are going to be all kinds of nasty things that are waiting for us. Some things friendly. Some things decidedly not so friendly. Things that will want to put holes in us. Holes that did not originally exist. Human beings come with a configuration of holes. I don't like to participate in the punching of new ones. I don't think that they help me out in any biological sense, and so I tend to stay away from that. You might differ in your tactics, but I prefer to keep new holes out of myself. And so let's go down to the beach right now. And while we're here, let's go ahead and I think actually this little atoll, or whatever you would call this over here, I think this is a good spot to build our first boat. And so let's do it. Let's go to our crafting menu. And I think that if we go with... What was it? Let's look at our... Hold on. We have a book here somewhere that we can read. Let's find it. A strange journal. We have basic crafting, and we have a strange journal. I don't want to craft with it right now. I just want to read it. And so we'll press the tab key to go back to our inventory. Okay, and so we've got one hardstone, one log for a pickaxe. This is probably where I'll start with crafting a lot of this fun beginning stuff. But up until later on... Ooh, a pristine deer pelt. We can make a scimitar! I kind of want one. A scimitar! So that we can defend ourselves with our plus three powers. We can make a... Hold on. Where is this down here? We can make boats. So we can make a sail raft out of seven logs and two cloth. So let's go with that. Let's press the C key. We'll put the logs over in the stack. And then we've got the two cloth. And so there it is. And so as you can see, that's being crafted. Our sail raft will soon join our flotilla. Our literal floatilla. And so there it is. And if we press B, it will open our menu that will be full of our boats. There are different boats you can get. You can get a sailboat. You can get a battleship. You can get a sailing raft. There's a lot of fun stuff in this game, and you can find it all over the place. And by right-clicking, we can deploy it. Now, what we want to do at this moment is we're going to drop down. Oh, God, we're going blind. Okay, and so what we want to do now is we want to jump up onto our boat by pressing the E key. And what we can do is we can open the sail. And once we open the sail, we want to step backwards, like kind of into the oar right here. And then once we step into the oar, we can hold down the E button, and we can steer our boat around. And so let's go to this place right over here, and hopefully nothing terrible happens to us. I made sure that I didn't make our game on hard mode, because bad things tend to happen in this game. Like, you'll go to other islands, and then just horrible, horrible occurrences will take place. And then you'll just feel foolish. You'll be over here, standing with club in hand, and you'll just be like, Wow, I didn't see that coming, as multiple pirates sort of put you on a spit and then cook your flesh for later. I think I'm going to beach my boat right here, put the sail down so that we lose a little bit of velocity, and then let's jump off, and it's just going to hang out right there. The boat shouldn't go anywhere. I've had a couple times where the boat has kind of floated off on me, but as long as you put the sail away, remember to put the sail away, because the boat will come sail away with you, but it will also come sail away without you, and the song is not nearly so awesome without somebody saying, come sail away with me. Come sail away by yourself, a much less interesting song. Now, this little island right here doesn't look like it will have a whole lot to offer us, but what we can do 
is let me assign if you if you mouse over an item and you press the one two three four five keys you can hot key them and so you can whip them out just by pressing a number key I don't know if a lot of people are aware of that I bring it up because I wasn't aware of that and then the developer told me and I was like oh that's totally awesome it was a thing that I wished was in the game but I just didn't even deign to try it and so it just sort of happened did I use that word right I don't know you people will correct me it's okay I say things wrong all the time, and every single time somebody corrects me. That's the nice thing about being on the internet. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Is that a nice thing? People correct you? I don't know. Sometimes I mind. Sometimes I don't mind. By and large, if I put it in a video, I don't mind. Now, hardstone is a rare drop from some of these mines. And we want to make sure that we're beating up any rocks that we come across. We want to assume that they've said something horrible about our mother. And so that gives us cause to just beat them about the head, neck, and shoulders. Where the head, neck, and shoulders are on this rock, I couldn't really tell you. So I sort of do like this rotational dance while I hit it. Just to be safe. To make sure that I clock it enough times. We got some more loot right there. The rocks don't despawn or anything. Well, do they? I don't know. Let's pick up these logs because I forgot about them. What is this over here? What is this? A worm. I think that might be a dirt pile. And so we got a worm. I think we can use the worm for fishing or something like that to feed ourselves. But for the moment, it's not going to be something that we are going to attempt. We just want to finish off this island. Maybe look for some treasure. Every island has its own ecosystem. So occasionally you'll get to... Oh, a hardwood log. That's even better. Hardwood logs are rare. So that'll be helpful when we go to craft something in the future. And there's another log over here. Another dirt pile. We got a grub. Alright, so we can get our grub on if we get really, really desperate because I sometimes I go a long time without finding food in this game. Other times I find food very, very quickly. When you're hearing that like thump noise, that thump noise means that we got a critical hit on the rock. The rock counts as an opponent. I think that's just part of how they have it programmed. The rock counts as an enemy. I thought there was a log laying over here somewhere, but I guess I missed it. It may have jumped out of my periphery. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to smashing some boulders. We're getting our caveman on right now. I've got a club. I'm channeling my inner Barney. And there we go. Awesome. And then we'll grab that log right there. It's just a normal wood log, but we don't say that around it. You just... Is that... Oh, that's white flowers. Okay, so you can make potions. You can do all kinds of fun stuff in this game. And, of course, I'm going to have to look up how to do some of these things. I did a lot of them in the stream. Like, in the two hours we played the stream, we found a boss. We built a bunch of stuff. We had done pretty well. Now, you don't build, like, bases or anything in this game. The whole game seems to really revolve around the fact that you're attempting to get, like, new and improved and more awesome boats. And so, around, we will find materials that we'll use to get more awesome boats. Unfortunately, there's no combat on this island. I don't see any enemies. We can also hunt. Once we make a bow, we should be able to hunt, and we'll be able to fire arrows at, like, deer and at enemies and things like that. It works out pretty well. It works out pretty well, except that I lose my arrows a lot, and so I'll have to keep that in mind when I go out to shoot things. The things that you shoot tend to be very, very threatening to your health as well. I think we've just about hit it all up right here. I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to quote Tupac too heavily, but I think we hit him up at this location. I think it's time to go. So I think what we'll do is we'll jump back on our raft, and we will sail off to some new unknown location. Let's take a quick head count of what we have, though. So we have a fishing bait. We have, oh, we have multiple fishing baits. So maybe it's a good idea for me to make some kind of fishing rod in the near future. How do I make a fishing rod? Is that in here? Is it one of the basic things that I can make? It does not appear to be a basic thing that I am able to craft, and so... Unfortunately, we'll just have to wait on that one. A hard stone and a deer pelt will make us a knife. A bow is a log and two plant fibers. Do we have that? Let me take a look here. We have plant fibers, a log and two plant fibers. Okay. Or we can make a hardwood bow. We can jump straight up to the tier two, like the tier two bow if we wanted to. Let's do that. Let's do the tier two bow. Oh, we've got two hardwood logs. Even better. I'm feeling so much better about myself. Or I mean, kind of. I don't know. It doesn't make me feel that much better. But let's craft something awesome. Let's go, like, right there, and then we'll go with some of those. There it is, a hardwood bow. Let's craft it. Awesome. Hopefully it's not a hardwood bow staff. I mean, that would still be awesome, but at the same time, I'm going to hotkey that to number two. And the next thing we need to do is make ourselves some arrows so that we get out there and we, we like, channel our inner predator. And we're, like, hiding up in trees going... <coughs> with our big mandible thingies. We'll have to remember that we have awesome projectile weaponry. And so in order to make a bow, what do I need? Or I'm sorry, to make an arrow, what do I need to do right there? I bet it's going to be like flint and a stick, right? So it's going to be one wood and one flintstone. Awesome. Somebody go find Fred. I mean, 
Fred will do. There are other Flintstones, but I would take Fred first. It just seems like the way to start out. He seems to be the grumpiest. He seems to be the grumpiest. And so let's go with a log and some Flintstones. And how many arrows do we get when we do this? Do we get a lot? Do we get a lot? Five crude arrows. <laughs> There's the humor for the day. There's your humor for the day. And so I think I'll probably make about 20 of these. That seems to be about enough arrows so that I don't have to worry about like losing them or anything like that. We've got plenty of materials to make more if we want them. How do I equip the arrow? Does that work differently? Okay, so we got to do that right there. So it's actually got to press... Oh, it actually remembers though. So if I aim it, let's let's do a little bit of target practice here. Oh wow, that arrow disappears quick. Okay. It looks like it's got a pretty good Oh good, it's stuck in the tree. It's got a pretty good drop off, but yeah, feeling better about our survival chances right now. Projectile weaponry is never anything to laugh at. If you've got projectile weapons and the other guy don't, your chances of surviving just went up. Now, did we come from that island over there? I think we did. Pretty sure we did. And so let's go maybe explore there's a lot of islands around. Let's go explore that one. Let's go explore that one. And we can actually push the boat a little bit if you want to. You can actually, like, give it a little jiggle right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't want to board the boat. I just wanted to push it out to sea. There we go. And so if you give it a little help, you can actually flip it around a little bit, and it'll make your life a little bit easier. Just things to remember while navigating, while becoming the skipper. Let's go ahead and flip this around this way, and let's be on our way. I really do enjoy this game. I don't know. It's like I said, it's not much to look at, but for whatever reason, playing this game is very calming to me. The game is whimsical. There's not, like, horrifying, terrible, Cthulhu-esque enemies in it. It's sunshiny. The world feels warm. The combat feels, like, not childish, but the combat feels harmless. Like, when you die, it's not really that big of a deal. It seems like a really, really nice resort crafting game to spend some time in. I mean, it's like the sandals of crafting games. I mean... If Sandals had bloodthirsty pirates and bosses that wanted to murder you and also pirate ships with cannons. So, you know, there are some minor modifications to the Sandals way of life, but... Oh, that island over there looks awesome. It's got like a... I don't know, a big mountain or something on it. Maybe I'll go check that out next. That looks legit. Let's go to this one first, though. One thing at a time. One thing at a time, my friends. We shall keep our exploration to a minimum for right now. Down with the sails. We should drift... Okay, so we're going to crash into the island. I was going to say we're going to drift in gently, but we crashed. It looks like nighttime is going to be fairly soon. And since nighttime is going to be here shortly, I'm thinking that maybe. I don't know. Maybe we should come up with a plan for a campfire. We're also. You can sneak by holding down the control key. I haven't noticed how well it works lately. I mean, I assume it does something. I don't know. I wonder if you need bamboo to make the first fishing rod, like bamboo and thread. That seems about right. I've heard of people making bamboo fishing rods and things like that. Like, even in early Americana, and you'll forgive me, I don't know what it is about recording lately. I keep getting frogs in my throat as I'm recording, and it becomes the most obnoxious thing, and it doesn't appear to be, like, any way to get around it, because it happens so randomly. And it's just like, ah! Curse you horrible itchy thing in my throat. What are you? I don't even know what you are. Are you fluid? Are you the absence of fluid? I'm not even sure what to prescribe you as. I don't even know what to, I guess, prescribe is the wrong word. Diagnose you as. There we go. That's what I'm going for. And so nighttime in this game is very dark. I would recommend that you spend your time sleeping. I mean, you can make a torch and you can run around, but getting into trouble in the pitch black is quite a bit more threatening than getting in trouble during the daytime. And so as you can hear, the sound effects seem to have hit some kind of binary switch. And so we'll watch the sun go down, because I think we're just about at the end of our time here anyways in Salt, our first episode. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the first episode of Salt. I hope you'll choose to join me for the next couple episodes. Feel free to play along in your own Seed 12 if you want to. But as it's getting dark, I think I'm going to make myself a campfire. And once I've made myself a campfire, I think that it's going to be time for me to go to sleep for a little while. So I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. Hi-do.